Finally, after months of requests, I can make this video. So many of you have reached out asking the same burning question. How do you actually integrate Stripe into your apps so you can make money from them? While Bolt.new makes this process incredibly frustrating and borderline impossible, there's a better solution. If you saw my last video featuring Lovable AI, you saw how easily you can integrate a backend to your applications via the native Superbase integration. Now, I'm about to show you something even better. How to get Stripe up and running in your application so you could start making money. And you don't need any coding experience at all. I'm not a coder, so you could follow along step by step and do this simply with lovable AI. All right, let's dive in and start making money. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be building a very basic app. It doesn't matter. I don't wanna go and show how to build an awesome user interface. You can see my previous videos on how to do that. Instead, I'm just gonna build a basic app and then show you how to set up Stripe integrations and how easy it is to do that. So basically, I'm just gonna say create a note-taking app. Very simple, obviously. I could get much more complex with this. I could build a cooler app, but I'm just gonna do this for the sake of this video. Okay, and so here is the note-taking app. It's extremely simple. You could see I could change the user interface however I want, but for the beginning of this video, let's at least start with this. And then now let's go ahead, add a user login. So they have to actually be authenticated and you know they have to log in in order to access the app. And then in front of that as well, when they log in, they actually need to sign up with Stripe and pay in order to get access to our app. Set up user auth. And if you haven't seen my previous video about Lovable, make sure to watch it after this one, but it's very easy to set up Supabase. So essentially I'm gonna click this button up here, set up Supabase. This is the database that we actually store user logins, different queries and whatnot. So you can see now it's saying we'll need to use Supabase. Please connect your project to Supabase first by clicking on the Supabase menu in the top right of the interface. So let's do that. First of all, let's come over to Supabase and make sure that we have an account set up or make sure that we have um, a project setup that we want to use for this. So I'm going to click new project. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this to an existing project. So lovable project, connect. Lovable is now saying it's connecting to Superbase. Great, so now it looks like the Superbase is set up. Let's now add user authentication in order to access the app. So we don't want people to have access to the app unless they're signed into their account or signed up for account. That way we could then make it so they need to subscribe to a subscription plan via Stripe before actually getting access to the application. So let's do that now. It's gonna help us set this up inside of Superbase via the native integration. Okay, so let's test this out first. So we could sign up, let's try an email account. There we go, so it looks like we actually signed into account, so that is now working. Okay, so now for the important part inside of our application. So let's just say, set up Stripe integration. Real quick, I wanna take 10 seconds to say, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This channel is all things AI for non-techies. So if you wanna stay up to date with AI, in the future, make sure to follow this channel, like this video, and leave a comment. All right, let's get back to it. Okay, so it's showing us the steps that have been completed and the steps that need to be completed. So the Superbase project is already set up. The authentication is set up, which is this right here in order to log in and sign up to your account. We need to add Stripe account and product setup, and then Stripe secret key and store Stripe secret key and Superbase edge functions. So. Before we implement the code changes, you'll need to create a Stripe account and set up a product slash price. If you haven't already, get your Stripe secret key, add it to the Superbase Edge function secret. So first of all, let's go ahead and get our Stripe secret key. Come down to developers here and then go up to API keys and then make sure to reveal the secret key. Okay, so once you have your secret key, paste it right here. Never ever paste your secret API keys into the chat here. You will only want to put it if they have a text box where it says to enter your API keys because then nobody could see it. If you paste it in this chat right here, anybody could see and steal your API keys. So that's very, very important. I need to throw that, throw that out there. So I'm going to save that now. So now it looks like API keys have been saved into my super base. So I'm just saying I added the Stripe API key. Here is the product 
ID. And then we wanna come back to our Stripe account. We wanna to come to product catalog and then create a product. You can see I already created one down here. Click on the product and then come and click on this price here in order to copy and paste this price ID or product ID. So basically I'm gonna say I added the Stripe API key. Here is the price ID. It's fine to put this in the chat right here because that is, that's already public information. It doesn't matter. So now it's actually writing some code into our super base. It's actually creating necessary edge functions, which I don't even know what an edge function is. That's the power of using a platform like Lovable. It just sets this stuff up in the back end for you automatically. Okay, so it looks like it actually has added the Stripe integration. I need to check and see if it's fully set up. So first of all, I need to sign up for an account. Okay, so I can now sign into an account and in order to subscribe to access the app, you need to subscribe. So let's click subscribe. Looks like this is working so far. Oh, okay, so one thing you need to do is when you're testing out the Stripe, it's not gonna load in the preview here. So you need to actually publish your app and deploy it. So when I use this actually in the browser as opposed to inside of Lovable, this should work. So give it a second. Okay, now that I have deployed this, let's go to the actual URL. Okay, let's go ahead and test this out one more time. So let's sign up. Okay, so now we're prompted to subscribe in order to access the app. And it should now take us back to that Stripe checkout. This is in test mode, so we could just test with a fake card instead of actually like making this payment go through. So let's actually copy and paste this number here. So come to card. There we go. Let's do one, two, two, nine, just random numbers here. Okay, let's subscribe and they should go through. Um, again, the payment won't actually go through, but it's just testing it to make sure that all the functions are working. It's processing. It looked like that worked. It should now send us back to our app. And here is where we will log in. And we should now have access to our app. Amazing. So. There we go, that is how you add Stripe. It's very easy to do and lovable. I hope this tutorial was nice and simple for you. Now we could go ahead, come back to our app and you know make this look however we want. We could you know make this look a little bit better, change everything about it. But now in order for you to actually use app, you have to be a user that is stored in Supabase and you also have to pay via Stripe in order to have access to this. So. We want to get technical we could come to Superbase and set all this stuff up but the amazing thing with lovable is you don't need to set any of it up yourself that is the power of these native integrations that they actually have essentially we'd have to come in here and add all this information we'd have to come to edge functions and set all this stuff up we'd have to write code but it actually does this since it has this native super base integration right here so guys i hope this video was valuable for you make sure to sign up with lovable there is a link in the description subscribe to the channel for more videos like this going over everything ai for non-techies that being said i'll see you guys in the next video